Thursday Day Challenges make up some of the most popular videos on YouTube for two reasons. Firstly, they're time consuming to make. By definition, they usually take 30 days. But also, there's so much buzz around them because a 30 day challenge can genuinely be life changing. A 30 day challenge is such a powerful way to reset any part of your life. Pick one part of your life that you're not happy with, whether you want to start waking up early at 5 a.m. every morning, going to the gym every day for 30 days, or writing a book in 30 days like I am. Then you plan for it, set a date, and just start. Now that's interesting, bro. I'm currently doing a write a book in 30 day challenge and I'm on about day 19 and believe me it's so rewarding but at the same time oh my goodness it's so exhausting but I think that's exactly why it's called a challenge because it's a challenge right so I'm writing 1500 words so by the end of the 30 days I'll have a 45,000 word book because I've been putting this off for so long and so this 30 day challenge it really gives me the motivation and the inspiration and the drive to get Get this book written within 30 days. I think that it's so important that if you do do one of these 30 day challenges that you come at it from a, a very strategic standpoint, right? So if your 30 day challenge is to go to the gym and build muscle, then you would search on YouTube, okay, how do you build muscle in the most efficient way? You would talk to bodybuilders, you would listen to podcasts, you would really research so you're working smart, not just hard. For example, I'm writing a book and it's my first book, so I'm very aware that there's huge gaps in my knowledge when it comes to writing a book. I basically don't know how to write a book. So throughout this whole 30 day process, I'm talking to very successful authors, I'm talking to publishers, I'm talking to agents to really kind of pick their brain to make sure that I'm on the right track. And one of the best advice I've been given is don't get tied down with the editing process and trying to make everything perfect at first. Just get your ideas down on paper. If not, you could spend months just editing and you'll never end up finishing the book. I think that's really good advice. I'm also using what the Japanese call the Pokayoke approach, which is basically implementing systems so that you almost can't make mistakes. So for example, I'm using Grammarly, so when I'm writing, it automatically fixes the English and grammar mistakes, which will help so much more in the editing process. Forming long-term habits. I think the real power of the 30 day challenge is the habit or habits you cultivate during the challenge and the habits that you continue with after the challenge. There's a common mantra that it takes 21 days to form a habit. I mean, the jury's out on that one. There has been research that it takes 30 to 60 days to create a habit, but the point still stands that you have 30 days to build the habit up. And so once the challenge ends in 30 days, the habit sticks and it becomes an automated part of your life. And that's where a challenge can really change your life. Use a 30 day challenge to kickstart a project you've been procrastinating on. I've been putting this book off for probably the best part of a year. I even went to India recently, about a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, okay, Mike, new environment, fresh start, I'm going to complete this book, or at least I'm gonna make strong progress. I didn't write a single word. But since starting this 30 day challenge, it's given me the motivation and the accountability to actually start writing. And the best advice that I can really give you if you are starting a 30 day challenge is tell everyone and anyone you can. The more people that you tell, the more you're going to look like a fool if you do give up. That's exactly what I've been doing. I've been posting stories every single day to the point where now I don't really have an option to give up. I'm on day 19 and I'm still going strong. And as a bonus, I've also inspired a few other friends to start their own 30 day challenge. So it's kind of having this ripple effect, which is nice. Don't bite off more than you can chew. My goal was to hit 1,500 words a day. Let's just say that was on the slightly optimistic side. I realized I caught myself quite a few times writing just for the sake of writing and not focusing on quality at all and just trying to get the words out to reach that 1,500 word quota. And if I could turn back time or do this challenge again, I would probably aim for about 500 to 1,000 words but really focus on the quality because I know that a lot of what I wrote 
I'm gonna delete them anyway. The real challenge is making sure that your challenge is sustainable and you can sustain it for 30 days in a healthy way where you're not going to burn out. And let me know in the comments if you were to start a 30 day challenge today, what would you do? Would you write a book in 30 days like I am? Would you wake up at 4 a.m. every morning, go to the gym every day, running five kilometers a day? Let me know in the comments.